Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ray Dolan from Mullingar, in Mullingar, but not exactly. We're at Oliver Owen Trainers here in Old Castle, and I'm here with the man himself, Martin. Martin, how's it going? Hello there, Ray. How are you doing? Great. Very welcome to Old Castle. Brilliant. No, I, I've never been in this pub before. Will you give us just a little bit of a, a little bit of a tour? Sure, I will. Sure, you need to come through the door. Here. Good man. Good man. Now, the first thing I notice is the floor. Where did you get the floor? And that floor is is possibly there about. 60, 70 years it was made there. It was put in and made there. So it was. And uh, so, yes. And a covering put around it, and people couldn't see the people that was doing it. So the, the, you wouldn't be able to copy the, you know, the job that was done. Ah, right. It's a magnificent floor. Yeah. And I remember this in old, the old oh, school, actually. Right. This floor. Yeah. Yes. Now, you sell everything here from bacon and shorts to carrots to, to carrots to boots. Everything is in this pub. Sure, yeah. You can sell guns if you want to go. Look. Ah, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> lovely. And, uh, as well as that, you had uh, Halloween here as well. Yeah. How'd it go? Very good, very good. There's a lot of uh, noise, a lot of trick or treaters, and a lot of um, kids, kids mainly. Uh, so the kids came into the pub and they yeah. sing a few tunes. Oh, it's done. A few bits of... Was there any, any talent this year? Do you know what I mean? Like, so mostly kids are just going around collecting sweets, and maybe you could get a few pounds all right. But did anyone come in and sing? Uh, just a couple, of, just sang a couple of songs. No, I don't really see me. So just now you're in Oldcastle a few years yourself. Yes. Is this your pub? Yeah. It's my pub. Yeah. Wow. I I must say it is magnificent. It's it's beautiful. You've you, you've gone very traditional on it. Oh yeah, just to keep it the keep the character and keep the uh, character going. The fellow Ray, Ray and this is that's the previous old old trainer. Old trainer. Brilliant. And that was a write up in the local papers, that was a write up in the paper. Yeah. Now as well as that you've a session on here. This this lady what does this lady do? Is she this lady advertises our open mic. And yeah. The open mic happens the first Thursday of every month, which is this Thursday coming. Right. And we're a year old on this Thursday, so yeah. Brilliant. Now who would be at the open mic? Oh well, uh, uh, <coughs> the two ladies that start the open mic is um Celine Burke and Julian Tooth. Right. And they, that's a year, year ago, this Thursday, they started from just a, an off hand from music and very talent from people that were playing music and singing music. And now it's, it's gone from that to that. And uh, so, what type of music would it be? Would it be traditional music? Of everything. Yeah. There'd be singers, there'd be storytellers, there'd be. Uh, Oh, just uh, mainly, mainly singers and uh, guitar players and storytellers and comedians. What, what time would that start at? It starts at half eight mm -hmm. this Thursday, the 2nd of November. Right. And it's a year old this Thursday and there'll be a few nice treats on this Thursday so they will. So. Great. Now, just to, so, just to stand, stay there for a yeah. second now, because I just want to go in behind the bar, because yeah. a lot of people who'll be looking in are coming from all different parts of the world, and just some of the memorabilia that's in here. This used to be, uh, I remember some of these boxes, these boxes are worth a fortune at the moment, and as you can see, Dublin whiskey and John Powers, which is an Irish whiskey. And another thing that a lot of people would remember is all the sweets, and these are actually proper um, glass, um, sweet, sweet boxes as well and a lot more up on top here is all the memorabilia as well of going back bottles of stout um golden virginia little boxes and it just goes on and on and on so come down here and we'll just we'll just sneak in behind the bar because uh, a few people in there as well and we just want to sort of give them away because them lads probably are not allowed to be in the pub at the moment but Bring us down here to a lovely room that you have for all the drink. It's all the drink. And I have the Dubliners singing in the background, and maybe they're too loud, but it doesn't matter, sure. So this is one of the other rooms, and this is the great Luke Kelly. And this work was done by who? By Brendan Mayda from Ballon Cree, originally from Dublin, and he moved down a lot of years ago, and he'd done all this art book. Uh, Brendan Mayda is his name. Brendan and he's Mayda. A musician as well. Right. He is. It's all ballads and traditional music. Now this one, folks, is just, it has all the character, it has all the drink, it has all the road miles, it has all the pain, it has everything. And uh, this is the local artist, as uh, 
His name is there, Brendan. And then Melia. Melia. And uh, more of them is, look, I just saw that. Brendan, that is just beautiful. And to all our friends looking in, you can check this out and come to Old Castle and come into Speedy's Bar. Uh, the Rory Gallagher picture is just, oh, fantastic. And then Christy Moore is just there doing his thing. He's a small Christy Moore, really, that lad. And this was a very famous ban yeah. banjo player, Brendan Farley. And he was part of the Farley traditional uh, group from Old Castle. Oh, right. And he passed away um, in 2016. And in 2018, we had a, an old trainer flag here. Right. And we unveiled this. Brendan made it, made it for us. Wow. And we unveiled it. And three of the brothers was here that night. Oliver, John Joe, and... Fairness, and they had been with, and it was just in honour of Brendan because he's a lovely man and he's a great musician and he was so special. Now, with 20 minutes in, and is it 10, 10 cars or 20 cars? I think it's 20, Ray. Yeah, it definitely <laughs> looks like 20 cars. 20 cars. And now we're going to have a whiskey over here. All oh, right, <laughs> with sort of tipping. Yes. And uh, more, more photographs. Now, we just sort of, that's a, a long distance picture but we're going to leave that piece out for you folks that's the part that you can come in and have a look at yourself now the pub is called once again it's uh, speedy's bar trainers it's yeah, trainers. Trainers. the trainer name for only trainers and look at the logo on the on the shirt yes you can't be here. now as well as that we have some pictures uh, this is like uh, the, uh, the, when the people were killed in 1972 yeah and every town had a protest against it right down the north bloody sunday yeah bloody sunday uh, this and this one here is the photograph of the town taken back in the early, early 60s. Right, that's so what it is. And this one here is a canvas done by Oni's niece, Francis Trainer, oh. of the town. So it is. So there you are, folks. We're going to finish off our broadcast here, coming to you from live from Oldcastle with the Pecker Dunn. Pecker Dunn, and he played in. In, lived in Old Castle. The Pecker lived in Old Castle. Lived in Old Castle. He came up with, with uh, Johnny Johnny Snow and Peggy, brought up from Kerry, and he was down in Kerry and he stayed with them and then he stayed over the ground and played music. I remember. Yeah, so yeah, he had a family then after a bit. Yes, yes, and they're all musicians. And are they from around the area still? No, I haven't seen mm -hmm. any of the family. Yeah. Just, I remember the Pecker so well back yeah. in the seventies. And, and I remember playing in Killarney, right? On the streets of Killarney. We play with the show in yes. Killarney. Peck would be down in the streets then every day. And um, I've never heard a recording only until recently of the Pecker, like. So them songs that he's singing oh, yes. now, and they come in and you hear one here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so there you are, folks, coming to you live from Old Castle, and uh, check out this pub. It's just directly in the square, and Speedy is always in here. And you know what? He might actually give you a dance if you're coming on a, 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 a Tuesday. Is the dancing day? Is it probably Tuesday or Wednesday, or maybe Wednesday night? <laughs> there you are, folks. Thanks, Thank you. Bye.